Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Ahmed Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in the presence of the personal representative of His Majesty the King Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa where they discussed a number of topics on the national level in addition to updates regarding the coronavirus. His Majesty praised the efforts of His Royal Highness in serving the country in all fields and hailed the role of Team Bahrain in combating the pandemic and ensuring the health and safety of all citizens and residents. His Majesty Majesty also praised the role of the frontliners in this regard and wished them success in achieving their noble goals. He praised the efforts of the vaccination campaign and hailed the keenness and awareness of the people of Bahrain in assuming their national responsibility in facing the pandemic. His Majesty prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect Bahrain and the world. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the Nasser Vocational Training Center's first meeting of the Board of Trustees. His Highness congratulated the members of the Board for the Royal Trust by appointing them as members, praising their national contributions and their proven competence. He extended his appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his keen interest in the well being of all citizens and support for the Bahraini youth by integrating them into the labor market. His Highness explained that His Majesty directed the establishment of the center to spread knowledge and opportunities for students by graduating engineers and technicians. He prayed the support of the government under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and praising the members of the board, management and all NVTC employees for their efforts. His Highness said that the work of the center is based on the vision and aspirations of His Majesty which will implement His Majesty's directives to develop the field of industry and technology. يعني الحقيقة هذا المركز عزيز وغالي علي كون ارتباط أولا أولا يعني شرفني جاءة الملك الله طول عمره أن يربط اسمي بهذا المركز ولكن هذه الفكرة وهذا المشروع يعني هو وليد فكر جاءة الملك الله طول عمره ولها أبعاد كثيرة للمجتمع وللبلد فهذه يعني كلها أمانة إن شاء الله أنها في رقابنا أن احنا نحقق رؤية جلالة الملك الله طول عمره وما في شك أن هذا المجلس بالأسماء الموجودة اللي انتخبناها ووافق عليها سيدي جلالة الملك الله طول عمره راح يقوم بالدور وأزيد إن شاء الله فأنا أبارك لكم أولاً يعني أنتم معكم معانا في هذه المسيرة وأتمنى إن شاء الله أن هذا المجلس يكون مضرب مثل للمجالس الأخرى إن شاء الله ونقوم باللازم ونقوم بالدور اللي هو إن شاء الله نوصل للطموح المطلوب the National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Commander of the United States Marine Forces at the Central Command Lieutenant General Carl Mundy. His Highness stressed the depth of the Bahraini U.S. relations and their steady growth on all levels, especially regarding military and defense cooperation. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, underlined that Team Bahrain Victorious is a source of pride and a leading factor in promoting Bahrain internationally. His Highness's remarks came after Team Bahrain Victorious rider Phil Bowers sprinted to victory in the tour of Slovenia's first stage. His Highness expressed happiness at the team's new win in one of the most prominent tours in Europe that always features wide participation and fierce competition. He pointed out that the the continued accomplishments made by Team Bahrain Victorious came owing to the safe and sound plans that the team is following, stressing his keenness to continue supporting the team. His Highness also praised the abilities and capabilities of the rider, wishing him the best of luck in the upcoming races.
the first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of Bahrain Athletics Association, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the first meeting of the board of the General Sports Authority with the participation of the board members. His Highness welcomed the attendees and congratulated them for earning the trust of His Majesty the King and wished them success in bringing further progress and development to Bahraini sports. He affirmed the keen interest of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in supporting the field of sports through the government program by establishing the required infrastructure for sporting success. His Highness praised the ongoing support for the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work and youth affairs and his implementation of the royal directives which developed the field of the kingdom. He looked forward to further achievements in the field and praised the efforts of all national teams and the Ahmar Nagadha campaign to support the football team in its campaign in the qualifying round for the World Cup. His Highness then discussed various items on the meeting's agenda which included removing all obstacles in the way of further success in the field of sports, establishing an official identity for the GSA and the registration of the Winners Academy as the first commercial football club. The Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs held a meeting led by Deputy Prime Minister Jawad bin Salim Larayal. The meeting included discussions of several topics and draft laws to be referred to the Cabinet. It also included discussions of several draft laws and proposals referred by the Legislative Authority and the Representatives Council and approved to refer a draft response regarding the decisions taken in this regard. The President of the Supreme Council of Health and Head of the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, paid an inspection visit to East Rafah Health Center as part of his keenness to follow up on the progress of the national vaccination campaign. He affirmed that the national vaccination campaign achieved good results as it was launched in implementation of the Royal Directors of His Majesty the King and followed up by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Royal Order aimed to provide free vaccination to all citizens and residents to enhance health security plans and achieve community immunity. He pointed out that the number of those who received the first dose of the vaccination exceeded 1 million doses, confirming the advanced level reached by the campaign as this number of vaccinated people reflects the awareness and responsibility of citizens and residents of the importance of vaccination and its role in supporting national efforts to address the coronavirus. Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah praised His Majesty the King's directors to vaccinate Bahraini citizens residing abroad, stressing that the co collaboration between Health Ministry and Foreign Affairs Ministry has begun. Following the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the Minister of Forks, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Asam Khalaf, issued ministerial decisions to reduce municipal fees on 151 Bahraini families that do not own their personal properties. The Minister pointed out that these decisions come in line with His Majesty's keenness to provide high living standards for citizens, meeting their needs and exempting limited income citizens from paying the fees in the future. Under the patronage of the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the second graduation ceremony for female university officer candidates was held in the presence of Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagir al naimi The ceremony commenced with the recitation of the Holy Quran, then the graduates delivered a military performance. After that, a brief on the course was presented, and then the Chief of Staff honored the excellent students, and then the graduates performed the legal oath. And Naimi conveyed the congratulations of the BDF Commander-in-Chief and to the graduates and praised the role of women in all fields, especially the military field, and affirmed that women's role is crucial in the forward march of the kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The president of Seychelles, Waybel Ram Kalawan, received the credentials of Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa as ambassador of the kingdom residing in Abu Dhabi. The ambassador conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The president of Seychelles entrusted the ambassador with conveying his greetings and appreciation to His Majesty and to His Royal Highness. 
He took pride in the friendly relations between the two countries and people and discussed ways of further strengthening them, wishing the Kingdom of Bahrain further development and prosperity. The Minister of Health, Faiq al-Saleh, said that Russia's Sputnik B COVID-19 vaccine has demonstrated 94.3% efficiency and a high safety profile in Bahrain. The ministry conducted a study that included more than 5,000 citizens and residents in Bahrain between February to April of 2021. The CEO of the Russian Direct Investment Fund, Kirill Dmitry, explained that the effectiveness of the vaccine reached 94.3% within two weeks of taking the second dose. The results also showed that 99% of the existing cases who received the vaccine showed mild symptoms. And another achievement for the Kingdom of Bahrain, Aluminum Bahrain Alba, has been announced the recipient of the Best Corporate Governance Award in Bahrain by Ethical Boardroom for 2021. The Ethical Boardroom Corporate Governance Award recognized outstanding companies who have exhibited exceptional leadership and governance to include gender diversity. To speak more about this, we are joined on the phone by Alba's Director of Investor Relations, Insurance and Corporate Secretary, Ms. Elaine Halal. Hello, Ms. Elaine. Tell us what this award means to Alba and how were you able to attain it? Uh, thank you very much for uh, reaching out uh, to Aluminium Bahrain. Uh, what I would like to say in this regard is that uh, we are actually quite delighted uh, to have been the recipient of this uh, corporate governance uh, in Bahrain by the Ethical Boardroom. And I do believe this is a vote of confidence in the systems and the processes that Alba have in place. Corporate governance is not something new that the company does. In fact, uh, we have adopted best practices for corporate governance since the company had its dual listing back in 2010 on uh, Bahrain Bourse and London Stock Exchange. And I think uh, we do believe uh, that this is a, a top-bottom approach. Uh, it's in fact led by our chairman of the board, uh, Sheikh Daesh bin Salman bin Daesh Al Khalifa, and, of course, our chief executive officer, Mr. Ali al And in this regard, uh, we do believe uh, that uh, every activity we do in ALBA is actually, uh, we think about it in terms of uh, how to do it in terms of transparency, in terms of accountability, and in terms of trust. And uh, this matter is being taken very seriously at the board of directors. We do have a committee called the Nomination Remuneration and Corporate Governance Committee, they look at every single matter in relation in corporate governance, and they do take it really seriously. And as I stated earlier, it's a uh, matter uh, quite important for the board of directors, and I don't think uh, this is something new for Bahrain. Bahrain is quite well known for its uh, best corporate governance practices, uh, uh, and we are very pleased uh, to have uh, been the recipient of this award. And that's not the first time, by the way, Alba takes the award from the ethical boardroom. And uh, again, we're quite pleased to have it. That tells you a lot that we do have a strong team in Alba's board. Uh, and it's a vote of confidence in the systems that we have, in the processes that we have. And we hope we continue on this journey for the future to come. Alba's Director of Investor Relations, Insurance and Corporate Secretary, Ms. Elaine Halal, thank you for joining us. The National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus held a press conference to provide an update on the Kingdom's COVID-19 response. The task force highlighted that the decisions announced on 27th of May 2021 have proved to be effective in supporting mitigation efforts and reducing the infection curve. The Undersecretary at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Walid Al-Mana, highlighted the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs efforts to swiftly implement His Majesty the King's directives to vaccinate citizens living overseas. The infectious disease consultant and microbiologist at the BDF Hospital, Lieutenant Colonel Dr. Manaf al Gahtani, noted the importance of receiving a booster shot when required as every vaccination has a finite period of effectiveness. The consultant of infectious and internal diseases at Salmaniya Medical Complex, Dr. Jamila Salman, highlighted that the kingdom's death rate remains one of the lowest in the world. She highlighted that 19% of those eligible for vaccination have yet to register. She further emphasized the importance of being punctual when attending a vaccination appointment to ensure ensure the kingdom's pace of vaccination continues to run smoothly. 
The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,014,105 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 845,480 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 17,448, with 2,821 recoveries, 1,041 registered new cases and 10 deaths. 482 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 557 are contacts of active cases, and two are travel-related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.